All right, now I'm back and I'm gonna show you how to use character setting and music in an animation using Toontastic. Once again, you wanna start by clicking on the Toontastic icon on your iPad. You can actually click to skip the intro. We're starting something new, so we're gonna click on the blue plus. We're gonna choose short story because we're gonna actually start a short story. We're gonna do the beginning. So we're gonna click. And we're gonna choose beginning. The beginning and you can clip to sk skip that intro. Now I want you to pick a setting. Um, you should have completed this worksheet with um, your teacher. So you have your script. My script is, hello, my name is Amy B. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my dog. And I already have a character so I can check that off because it's me and I made it in the last video. Right now I need to have a setting. So pick a setting and you can pick anything you want for this one, but think about your sentence. Is there a setting that might work better based on what you said? Um, I said playing with my dog, so I want somewhere where I can be outside. So I'm gonna pick the school setting because I know that there's part of the school setting that's outside. And when it zooms around, you can kind of see, it shows you more of the set. So I'm gonna click. Now I have to add my character. This is why it's so important that you named your character last time because I can scroll over and find it. Remember my character is named after me, Amy B. So I'm gonna click. I don't need to edit it, so I'm just gonna click on the right arrow. And there I am, I actually appear in my setting. So I have to practice a little bit. When I hit start, it's gonna record, but I'm not ready to record yet. So I wanna move my character wherever I want it to go. Um, if I hold it down and move it, it walks. If I hold it down do you see um the mouth will move i can also zoom in to make it really big or really small i'm just going to have my character stand right here oops get it to face frontwards there we go um i have a setting i have my character and i have my script so i know that my character is going to have to speak so what i'm going to do is after i hit start i'll just hold down on my character so that the mouth looks like it's moving and it will record for me okay so I would practice reading your script a few times so you know what you're doing um, and you know that you can read it really, really well, all right? I've practiced mine before we started this video. So I'm gonna click start to start my recording. Hello, my name is Amy B. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my dog. So it's gonna show me my sample. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my dog. Now, do you see all this stuff that popped up right here? These are all different pieces of music. This will keep repeating itself. These are different types of music. So you need to think about what type of mood music you need. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my dog. I choose happy, so I need to find music that sounds happy. So I'm gonna choose some music. That music sounds pretty happy. What about this music? Is Amy B. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my dog. Hello, my name is Amy B. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my So you need to find music you like. I liked this music right here. Hello, my name is Amy B. One thing that makes me happy is playing with my dog. Once you like it, click on the check mark. And now you've actually started your story. Toontastic will automatically save your story for you. Um, so what you can do now is you're actually done. You don't need to click on finish. You're just done with this part of the video. So you wanna leave this so that the next person is ready to begin. So all you'll do is double click and then swipe up to close this so Toontastic's ready for the next person. And that's all you need to do to add character setting and music in a Toontastic animation.